how do you create family wealth in your retirement? So you're retired. You've got all this stuff laying around your house that uh, you're going to try and to figure out, how am I going to dispose of this? Because when I die, I don't want my kids to end up with all of it uh, and have to deal with it. So I need to dispose of it. Well, rather than dispose of it, why don't you make it worth more? As I told you in a prior video, I found out just this last week that this bottle of Pappy Van Winkle is worth $52,000. That's right. It auctioned off at Sotheby's on December the 22nd for over $52,000. I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for it back in 2019. It's been sitting on a shelf for that period of time, and I discovered this. How could I make that worth more? Well, that's what I've been working on, and what I decided is I needed to give it providence. Providence is, is a background to it. So I wrote a letter to Julian Van Winkle III. I guess that would be Pappy's great-grandson, and I asked him for some information about why is this bottle so mu worth so much, how, how many bottles were actually made in 2008, and how many of them do you suspect are still around? So if I get a response from Julian, Pappy, pa Julian Van Winkle III, and hopefully he'll write it in his script and then sign it, that just increased the value of this. So then I wanted to authenticate its value. So I went to Sotheby's, Sotheby's, and I uh, uh, entered their website. I sent them pictures of the bottle and of the, the velvet package, and they wanted about six uh, uh, pictures. And I asked them to tell me what is it worth. So now let's say I get a response from, um, from Sotheby's and it's in writing. I now have a providence for that bottle. So now maybe as it increases in value, I figure they made, and from my research, they made about 3,000 bottles of this. I would bet there's less than a hundred of them still full. So, so it's going to go up in value, but I want to enhance that value. And so then I ask myself, do you have anything else that might be of value? And so I remembered that I had gone to the Brickyard 400 in, um, what was it? It was 1994, and Jeff Gordon won that Brickyard 400. And I was a student enough when I went through the gate I asked the guy at the ticket counter, please don't tear off my stub there. Just leave it so that I have something of value. Well, this ticket is probably, I looked on eBay, I could probably get somewhere between, oh, $29 and $59 for it. But what if I could get Jeff Gordon to sign it? What if I could get Jeff Gordon to sign it? That would probably take it over $1,000 based on the research that I did. So, so what am I going to do? I'm going to put this in, an, in a box with a letter, and I'm going to send it to Jeff, and I'm going to say, hey, Jeff, help me create family wealth for my grandchildren. And would you sign this, put it in the return envelope, and send it back to me? What do you think then that might be worth? What have you got that might be worth something? Let me show you something else I found. I, I, I was an a, a indie car fan. I lived in Indianapolis, grew up in Indianapolis, and I went to the inaugural Formula One race. If I remember right, they only had one, and I did the same thing with these two tickets. So they are unscathed, unstub-detached unstub tickets. Michael Schumacher Run, won that race. If you know anything about Michael Schumacher, in 2013, he went skiing with his son, and he fell, hit his head on a rock, went into a coma for about a year, and now he's being taken care of by his wife. What if I could find her address? And I boxed these up, sent them to her, and said, hey, could you do me a favor and help me build family wealth by having Michael sign them and return them back to me. From what I can see, 
that would immediately make each one of these tickets worth in excess of $3,000. Okay? So, my message to you is, look around your house. See if you have a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle or something else that has some value. Go to Antiques Roadshow and watch, and you'll hear them use the word, oh, that's worth quite a bit. That bottle is quite... And it's signed by uh, Julian Van Winkle the third. Yes, well, that makes it worth not 52000 but 62000 And you have a signed letter from Julian making his comments on it. Well, that's worth another $10,000. And what does it cost me but a little bit of trouble and a little bit of imagination? I've also got a, a silk... Uh, stitched Japanese piece of art in the other room. I did some research on that. I can't find what it's worth. It looks like it was manufactured or it was made in the uh, late 17, early 1800s in Japan. Here's a picture of it. So what did I do? I got on Google and I researched it and I found a museum that is specializes in this art. And so I wrote them. And I said, I'd like to share some pictures of this with you, and you help me determine what it's worth. That's creating family wealth. Do I intend to sell it? I don't know. But if I, the reality is, if I leave it hanging there, and uh, it is no one uh, knows what it's worth, there's a good chance it'll go for something like $200 in a garage sale when it might be worth $52,000. That's what I'm saying to you. Don't just sit on the sofa and watch Judge Judy. Walk around your house. Do you have an old guitar, maybe? Get on Google. Find out what it might be worth on eBay. And then ask yourself, how can I create providence? How can I escalate the value? I've got uh, at one point, we had a uh, guitar signed by ZZ Top. Gave it to my grandson. Did I think we paid two, three hundred dollars for it? What if I created providence for it? What if I went and met with ZZ Top, had my picture taken with them? What if I could do that with Jeff Gordon? What if I could do that with Julian Van Winkle the Third? How much more? could I create in wealth with just a little bit of effort? You have a passion. You have something that you've done, that you've collected, and it's sitting there, and it's likely to grow in a garage sale. Well, put a little effort into it. Google it, find out what it's worth, and then build some providence around it. Let's don't just wait for the Check out date in retirements. Let's build some family wealth. What I've discovered in the last week, again, $52,000. I'm not going to sit on my ass any longer. I'm going to search my house. We've got art. We've got things. I'm going to find out what it's worth and then how I can build providence around it and make it worth more, and then build the documents around it that substantiate its value. Look, there's other ways to make money than the stock market or real estate. It's just finding out what all that crap you've got around your house is actually worth, and then building providence around. Watch the Antique Roadshow. They come in and they say, oh, yeah, I've got this thing uh, from that was uh, Abraham Lincoln, and he signed it. Holy crap, Abe signed it? Just skyrocketed in value. So let's, as retirees, let's make a commitment. 
Let's build our family wealth. And if you'd like to hear more videos like this and continue on my venture, because I'm going to show you some of the other stuff I've got that I think might be worth, and I'm going to walk you down the path of how I go about finding out what it's worth and building providence around it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and I'm enjoying the journey I'm going on. Oh, I'll continue to talk about the stock market. And, uh, and, and I, I saw Jamie Dimon this morning on CNBC. And Jamie made a statement that I just, I just love. He said, look, what's affecting the stock market right now and what people should be aware of for the next decade is what's going on in Russia. He says this stuff about the interest rates and, and uh, inflation, that's the weather. Okay, that's the weather. The news is what's going on in Russia because that's what's going to affect the value of your stocks in the future, not the weather. Okay, that's how I think. That's how I get excited. Let's make retirement exciting. Let's make investment exciting. And let's build providence about the stuff that we have, we have accumulated over the past years. I'll be talking to you more. Thank you.